Hi, in this video, we are solving for the value of x in this long question. So I want you to kindly pause the video and take a look at this question and try your hands on it. Now to solve this question, we are faced with different bases because the base of the left hand side is root x and that's on the right hand side is just x. So what we are going to do here is that we are going to apply a general property of logarithm, which states that if we have log to the base of a of b, this is given by log to the base of 10 of b all on log to the base of 10 of a. So that is what we are going to apply in solving this question. So I can rewrite this as log to the base of 10 of 4x plus 1 all divided by log to the base of 10 of root x and this is equal to log to the base of 10 of 14x squared plus 15x minus 4 all divided by log to the base of 10 of x so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cross multiply, right? I'm going to rearrange this entire equation. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to send this to the numerator of that. And then this becomes the denominator of that So. I'm going to get log of x all on log of root x is equal to log on 14x squared plus 15x minus 4 all divided by log of 4x plus 1. Now I can rewrite this as log x all on. Now log of root x is the same as log x exponent 1 on 2. And this is equal to log of 14 x squared plus 15 x minus 4 or divided by log on 4 x plus 1. Okay, so now this is the same as this is the same as This is the same as now over here at the at the left hand side. This is the same as log of x all divided by half of log x because generally if we have log a exponent n, this is the same as n log a. So log x exponent 1 on 2 is the same as 1 on 2 log x. And this is equal to log 14x squared plus 15x minus 4 or divided by log 4x plus 1. Now these two logs will cancel out and so we'll be left with 1 divided by 1 
unto, and this is equal to log of 14x squared plus 15x minus 4 all divided by log of 4x plus 1. Now, 1 on 1 on 2 is 2. And so 2 is equal to log of 14x squared plus 15x minus 4 all divided by log of 4x plus 1. And so what I'm going to do now, what I'm going to do now is that let me let me recall let me continue i need a space so let me recall now we got two is equal to log of 14x squared plus 15x minus 4 or divided by log of 4x plus 1 and so to to continue what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross multiply so if I cross multiply I'm going to get 2 log 4x plus 1 is equal to log of 14x squared plus 15x minus 4. Now, generally, according to the log property, if we have, if we have a log to the base of 10 of b, this is the same as log to the base of 10 of b exponent the a. So I'm going to apply that property here. And so, this what we have here is the same as log to the base of 10 of 4x plus 1 exponent 2 and this is equal to log of 14x squared plus 15x minus 4 and so i'm going to expand what i have here now, this is the same as log of, let me open a parenthesis, 4x plus 1 multiplied by another 4x plus 1. And this equal to log of 14x squared plus 15x minus 4. And so this gives me log of, now this gives me into brackets, if you expand, we are going to get 16x squared plus 8x plus 1. And this is equal to log of 14x squared plus 15x minus 4 and so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to send everything to the left hand side so i'm going to get log of 16x squared plus 8x plus 1 minus log of 14x squared plus 15x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, this is the same as, now according to the property of logarithm, if I have log a minus log b, this is the same as log of, into bracket, a on b. 
So I'm going to apply that principle here. So what it means is that, so what it means is that this is the same as log log into bracket 16x squared plus 8x plus 1 all divided by 14x squared plus 15x minus 4. This whole thing should be equal to 0. So now to remove the log, what I'm going to do is that we are going to we are going to find the antilog. The antilog simply means that if I have log of a b is equal to n, the antilog simply means that the base of the log is going to exponent this number here and it will be equal to the b. So the antilog simply means a exponent n should be equal to the b. Now over here, the base is 10. Anytime you have a log where the base is unknown, it's simply 10. So this, finding the antilog, we are going to get 16x squared plus 8x plus 1 all on 14x squared plus 15x minus 4. This should be equal to 10 exponent 0. And so we'll end up getting 16x squared plus 8x plus 1 all on 14x squared plus 15x minus 4. And this should be equal to 1 since 10 exponent 0 or any number exponent 0 is 1. So by so doing, I'm going to get 16x squared plus 8x plus 1. Let me cross multiply. So this gives me 14x squared plus 15x minus 4. Now before I continue, let me know, let me let you know from here that instead of we another way of getting what you have here is that when we got here we could have just cancel the logs and so that we will get the 16 x squared plus 8 x plus 1 is equal to 14 x squared plus 15 x minus 4 which is exactly what you have here so another way of getting what you have here is just by canceling the log from both sides so over here what i'm going to do is that i'm going to group like terms so i'm going to get 16 x squared minus 14 x squared plus 8 x minus 15 x plus 1 plus 4 is equal to 0 and the reason is because uh, it is a quadratic equation for quadratic equation the right hand side must always be equal to 0 so this is going to give us 2x squared minus 7x plus 5 is equal to 0. It's equal to 0. So let me clear and get a space. We got, so let me recall. So we got 2x squared minus 7x plus 5 is equal to 0. This can be reduced to get the factors of this quadratic equation are we are going to get x minus 1 multiplied by 2x minus 5 and this is equal to 0. Okay, so if we have something like this, x minus 1 is equal to 0, where x is equal to 1, or 2x minus 5 is equal to 0, where 
2x is equal to 5 and therefore x is equal to 5 on 2. So we have two solutions for x. 